I suggest you wa watch yourself around me. Where's the other door? On oh, the other side. Oh, that's why it looks so weird. Yeah. All right, wow. Pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain, speaking, and we are here at this beautiful flea market. Let's do a little spin around like that. Whoa, my gosh, I'm dizzy. We got my son here, Michael. What's up? Sticks? Sticks Picks. Sticks, Sticks, Picks. Sticks Picks now, but his name is Michael to me still, and he has a YouTube channel. He's here making his video. I'm here making mine. We're about to go figure out how to make money, and that's all I got to say. Don't forget to hit the like button, share button, subscribe, and also check out his channel. Check out his channel. I'll put the link below in this video, and you guys can just go -doo -doo and check it out. True. Always check out the cars coming by, and then follow them where they're going because they haven't started like them. That's fresh meat right there. Yeah. What's that? How'd you end up doing? On that locker? It was pretty good, honestly. I'm actually shocked. I got one box of sports cards, not sports cards, Marvel cards, okay. the right year. Nice. I already turned down 700. My goal was like 900 minimum for just the box of seal packs. Nice. Some coins. You can tell we that found. was a nice locker. Though. Yeah, it was. It was nice. I'm very happy. I'm we glad. gave all the yeah. we gave all the marine stuff back. But kind of saved it where nobody was bidding crazy. On well, it. it honestly didn't look that special to me. That's what I said. I'm 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 glad we made some money because it's been a tough couple weeks for me. Oh, I bet. I'll talk to you soon. What's up, hamburger? What are you doing? Oh, homies. How you doing? The potty mouth. Mass car, authentic rules. Lots of cars. Right. This is the exact. Michael, this is the exact same sort. No. No. It kind of is, though. It looks like the sword that we have in a case. It, but that like, thing, would, it wasn't open. I think it, it, it's the same <laughs> way, though. A sword is super nice. Who I mean, get a job. It's kind of. All right, maybe we got to take ours out and open the, 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 the case up. We'll be back, cheeseburger. Pull out some good stuff. It's a nice Cinnabar vase right there. A little damaged, though. Look at these guys. The three wise men, made out of wood. Prince for Dave. Yeah. Is that money? Coins. How much are your proof sets? Six dollars. I want to see this. Hmm? I've seen it before. Yeah. Not bad. Those are, oh, those are coins, I think, but different kind. Yeah. 1984, 1989, 1984. I know what you did two weeks ago, right? What I did? Yeah, I know what you did. What did I do? Ago, and I don't appreciate it, all right? Two what did I do? After I made the sale with the lady, you went back into court because she told me she's not gonna lie to me that you said that like how you lie. What? You told her that you went that that wasn't what she told you, and you weighed that necklace, and you went to go scrap it and brought it back to her for exchange. That's not cool. I, that lady's out listen, there working too. Listen to me. No, I'm not talking about that. Just, just stay. Keep my name out of your mouth. Your name ain't ever in my mouth. Right, your name ain't ever in my mouth. But what I watched what you, you do did, is do that. You told that lady wrong. scrap was 29 a gram. That's what she I asked you, for, you. man. My, you know I'm not. Tell you stay out of my face. I'm not gonna watch people screw with people. I like that lady. She's a friend of mine. I'm not arguing with you. Don't argue with me. I'm letting you know. I'm telling. You know. I suggest you watch yourself around me. I suggest you watch yourself. Oh, he's mad because he uh, tried to screw some lady over. He tried to like tell her that sh her stuff wasn't this and that. Altercation. An altercation. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't. I don't like crooked stuff like that. So this about coins. Oh stuff. yeah. If you can get those for like five or less. Those are a good recommendation. Yeah. What I don't like, what I don't like is his coins were like, uh, they sit in the sun. I always find it best to stay away from those situations because I have a bad temper and I cannot, uh, I can only control myself so long. So I like to walk away because if I get to the point I snap, it's going to get bad. And I'm not going to risk getting kicked out of my flea market. 
So I like to just walk away from those type of situations. I gotta try and stay still more. Give me the comments. I don't really do that. Always check your sterling or your silver. Like that looked like sterling, but it wasn't. Yeah, come on, tell me what sterling is. You got an alligator. <laughs> I don't see nothing else. Yeah. Keep looking. That's sterling, Michael. I don't know what they are. They look a little shaky. They're not much silver, though. Nope. Right. Is this from Sterling too? Yes, all both of those are. You just look on the bottom. Oh, yeah. I try to avoid conflicts like that, people, because like I I know, I know there's like it's just hot. I gotta. I'm very good at avoiding altercations, but I also know that once I get to this certain point, there's no turning back, and I just try to avoid it. Oh, oh this would be kind of cool to put one of these in the thing and trick Jess and Heavy. And then I am. Isn't the red one we don't like though? How was your estate sale? Oh yeah, it's a little pricey. It was uh, s s little slot cars, some ancient die cast. Oh yeah. Train engine from Japan, a frog model kit, a nice. dissectable visible frog eye. What'd you get? Some something cool he guy. likes, like, not uh, something to make nice. money on. Nice. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Seahawks, burn it. I'm just looking, no, they're where Jess loves fans, so let's look for some ones that she might like with a girl, size six-ish. Man, you got a whole cart full. What'd you get? <laughs> My son's starting a channel now, so. Nice. Well, what's your channel? I'll follow it, too. <laughs> Sticks Picks. Sticks Picks? He has a, fl a, a channel, too. Oh, really? Flip, flip Mall Pickers. I'll follow you, too. I haven't been there I think you've actually seen that. You've been busy with videos, man. You're uploading every day. I've been, I moved back to a video a day, which has been hard to keep yeah. up with. That's why I'm starting to do these videos versus just storage units, because I'm forced to buy storage units that suck sometimes, and I don't like doing that, so. How are you? Doing well, how about yourself? This is all handmade. Oh, nice. Uh, I have a silver over die yeah, turquoise. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. It, might, it won't be cool for the house. <laughs> we're trying here, we're picking. We're picking. I haven't got anything that I actually enjoy or want. My son bought something for himself, it looks like. He hadn't found something to make money, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. I told him he should walk ahead on his own. It's good to diversify and not just follow me because you want your own individuality. And I recommend that to anybody. Like, I feel like if he follows me, he's only gonna emulate what I do and you need to have your own individuality, your own path, your own et cetera, et cetera. So I told him to walk around a little bit on his own. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Almost cute. Timex takes the lick and keeps on ticking. Oh, that's a, that's a oh. good shank right there. Like, mm. No? Thank you. I'm looking for a knife. You guys see any knives? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, he's trying to find stuff, but he hasn't found it yet. I think he's got plenty. <laughs> that out just because some of those, some of those weird cereal things could do well. So let's just take a look. None. Eighteen bucks. People buy buy just to get the cars inside. Yeah. Different. Eight bucks a box. I'll have my son come look at them because he likes Pokemon. There, bro. Yeah. If you ever get comics and sports cards, keep me in mind. Looks like a Chevy Silverado, like a Tahoe. Oh, I thought they were more cards. No, no, brother. Yeah, my bad. Put them away. Come around. Are these the only cards you have? Yep. Here you go, brother. Oh, I got the Pokemon. Oh, the Pokemon one you bought last time. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Here's one more for me. I want this pen. Mm -hmm. 
Um, like how many times a day does Justin offer to buy somebody's balls? <laughs> More than you realize, right? depending on how many you see. <laughs> Michael, how you doing? You done? So I think we're gonna call it a day. I don't know if he made something. You'll have to watch his video. I, per se, have just wasted my whole entire morning, but that's how it is. You I never know. Huh? I did not. You didn't? I got the Dragon Ball stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got something, I think. Me, yep. personally, I didn't, but you cannot, uh, you gotta be in it to win at like Dolado, so we have to come. We didn't win. Let's continue on for our day. All right, so we are back at my storage. with me. My son's out there doing his unboxing, but I got a customer coming. I met a guy the other day. He's a cool dude. He bought some stuff off me, my gold monkey and so forth. And so basically, he loves sterling silver flatware and stuff. So he trades me the value of the sterling by the weight for coins and ounces. So he's on his way, and we're going to make a trade. And we're going to see how many coins. I bought this yesterday for 500. It's just under three pounds. Uh, I don't know what the value is there. I just want the coins. And same here. We and Alex found this. So we're just going to go ahead and trade this. And we're going to see what we can get at it. Y'all know I love silver. And we all, all, all love coins, guys. So it's easier to get things you guys like versus sterling flat. So I just traded that flatware set for all these Morgans. That's nice. You guys will see those in the auctions. If you and know. this is a set I bought off my friend. Shout out to Tom Cruise. He said, hey, I got some silver. I need to sell it. I got to do something. I just gave him what he wanted. And once again, we don't... I don't think a lot of pirates like sterling silver sets, so we traded for things you guys like. Check this out. I've never seen one of these. I've never seen one of these, so that's pretty tight. And we got a C. C. Morgan. The infamous CC. And we got this one here. Who don't like a little bit of rooster, right? A beautiful little pig. That looks like Tinkerbell, right on. Some peace dollars. And the infamous Dragon Ball. I think that was a good little trade, guys. So now we got some silver for the All right, we're here in my garage. Kind of a boring afternoon, I guess. Well, it's not that boring. We're making money, and that's always exciting. I've bought a lot of storage units lately, and a lot of them have not been that good. And we are going to start listing everything we found recently to eBay. So first things first, I'm here in this epic little box here. I'm going to sort all this cool stuff out, and I'm going to show you what I listed it for, what it was worth, and what it looks like as this whole. I think it's a jackpot box. I can promise there's probably at least 400 bucks in there. Actually, there's probably over 500. So I got everything laid out kind of in its little grouping. I'm still going to figure out who gets these weapons. I think this goes to him, Jetfire, and I'm not sure, but I'm going to look up each item individually. Like I'll look them up and see what parts go with him and so forth. We got a, almost a full complete version of him, which is pretty tight. And we got just some great toys. I I'm just a kind of like, I don't know what to say really. But it's exciting. I was just showing Jess this thing. This is like my childhood right here. In a nutshell, this piece of paper is like my whole childhood. Everything that I enjoyed playing with was right here. All these Autobots. And well, I didn't really care for the Decepticons. I really did not even have them here. I don't really like the Decepticons. They're just negative energy. You know? This is all of them. And just like that, I made a few ads. So I got Metroplex here. I actually listed this a little high, but look, I got unused stickers for the most part. And it's like in mint condition, like out the box, 1984. I put this up for, I think, 300 or 350. I always start high. I put Snarl up for 200, mint condition, still unused stickers. I put this guy up for 99.99. I put him up for 99, I think, maybe a little bit more. He still has a sealed pack of stickers there. And I put up Sludge as well. It wasn't Grimlock. I put him up for 99.99 just because. And I put all oh, rudely cut off. We got Jetfire in great shape, unused stickers, etc., etc. I listed that for 450. It's a more sought after piece. I don't know what I'm gonna get for it, but I'm pretty close. Probably, I guarantee I get at least 300 on that piece. Now time to bag them up, set them aside in our eBay area. It's a little dark over here on IO1, but this is my eBay station. Starting to fill it back up because I've been kind of, I don't wanna say lazy, but I've been not doing as much eBay. Here is Jess's eBay station. Here's a little dark area as well where this is io1 it's just dark down here but she has more listings up than me right now, now i'm going to work on these because i had a lot of feedback about these and that these were slightly slightly sought after and very valuable so we're going to take a look at those we got a couple of those and some legos and see what we can do with that continuing on of my listing stuff to ebay from my previous units we got this beautiful piece right here this is a Centurions. I don't think I ever actually played with these as a kid, but they actually seem to be pretty 
valuable, I think. Um, I'm going to list this one. One similar sold for 200. Uh, mine is 99% complete. The only thing I'm missing is one of these. That's what I'm doing here. We're piecing this all together, doing the weird little stuff that maybe you often don't think that I might do, but I actually do something it. different with the filming of it. But see, we got, we're just building these together. And so I'm completing a set and then listing them as they are, because they're minimum 100 bucks. But that one is actually going to probably be a $200 sale with the missing part. And I have the original box. This cool piece right here, I think a lot of people actually like this one because there's like there are a lot of people who like Iron Maiden. They're like just one of those cult classics, been around since forever, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I've never found one of these. It's a pretty large doll. It was an open box. The condition was pretty on point in my book. It like flopped around a little bit though. But great shape. The price tag on the bottom says $39.99. As you can see, I'll show you what I listed mine for. I went a little bit high on mine. Which I naturally do anyway. I do that quite often. I go a little bit high. But I put mine up for $199.99. And that's actually it could sell for that. It might sell for a little less, but it's gonna it might actually get that too. Okay, two, door unit. two doors. Where's the other door? On the other side. Oh, that's why it looks so weird. Yes. Okay. The that could work coat. to our benefit I and it could I see new, that's a, this is the one thing that made me want to buy it was the way this clothes look. That they did it so neatly. It just looks clean yeah. and, yeah, you know, like, there's potential of something being in here. I bet, yeah. Okay. A jewelry box packed with a bunch of gold right there. Look, so you can see everything in our unit. I see tags. It's kind of cool how you could see in the storage unit there. Yeah. It was sure guard? It was sure guard, yep. All right, wow, look at this. So oh, that is packed. Oh, she's packed. Oh, yeah, she. Can we give it back? <laughs> look, they your radio system up there. I don't know if those. Oh, All right. This is a 10 by 25. The dictionary right there. I wonder if that's been there the whole time or if somebody thought they were going to try to peek in the storage unit. Uh, that's what got Girls, what do you think? Did we overpay? I think there could be some good stuff. You think it's going to be good? It's pretty full, huh? I would say this is 98% capacity, Alex. It looks actually better than it did in the photos. That's, that's it. I found a shoe. You don't know there's people in there? Ooh. I found a shoe. That is extremely nice. Is that a picture of Uncle Michael? Is this Uncle Michael's rookie card from prison? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Uncle Michael, which one's you? It's a prison football team. I've never seen anything like this, Alex. This is tight. Hands? This is probably a $50 to $100 item right here. Right off the bat. Nice. Macy's. And another one. Macy's. Look at brand new presents. What? Oh, I just want to crawl in there like a little rat and run through. Nowhere. I just want to. There's nowhere to go. Ooh. Oh. It's beginning Ooh. to look a lot like the avalanche. Oh my. <laughs> the universe is telling us to look at something. It is packed. I gotta know. To the max. I gotta know. Come on, baby. Dad, I All right. Envelopes, a pillow. It's like a sewer, Catwoman, decorator, jewelry hoarder, slash, uh, gems. internet shopper. Gems, yeah, gems would be great. Is there a black, a big black mark on the front of this door? I don't see it. Matthew told me he had a dream one time that I bought a storage unit. He told me that's the last time I talked to him, really, that I bought a storage unit with like black marks on the door somewhere. And he called it the black mark door, but I found a rare collection of gems from somebody who traveled the world and it was like a million dollar gem in there. Million dollars? Something like that. He said he had a dream about this. Alex, do you hear me over there? No, it's so packed you don't see nothing. Oh my gosh. Seven. I just want to read that. Well, police, family news. Certificate of something. Somebody passed away and they were a cop. That's it. Pins. The Law Enforcement Museum. Their pins. What do they say on them? They say uh, Washington groundbreaking 2010 National Law Enforcement Museum. So we got some stuff that we need to give back to them. That's mm -hmm. just not. What's this in this black thing right here? I want to know. Another pin. I appreciate our, our law enforcement as well. They uh, have a tough job, a lot of ridicule. 
That's cool. Yeah. Those are really cool. What does it say? It says V7GS. V7GS? Hmm. Maybe the maker mark? Very seven good stuff. So, what I see here, we have uh, what you see, police. We can't even see. A, a officer passed away, right? But what some officers would collect the things that they like, right? And this is a real life porter. This right here is an antique photo of prisoners. So we got a uh, passed away cop. Maybe there's gonna be like prison, prison collectibles or police was. badges. I don't know. I'm intrigued. It's just Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. It's a little jewelry box. Inside jewelry of a jewelry box. box. Come on, baby. No. Is it um? Just a jewelry box. Pirates, this is going to be exciting. This video drops tomorrow, Monday morning, and what you didn't see, but I'm going to drop a little clip here soon or short. There was a massive jewelry box in the front, and that'll be the first video we show tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I think it paid for this $3,000 unit. I'm so excited. Let's see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. Like, share, subscribe, say something pretty. Ah.